Welcome everyone to a Khan Academy tutorial. We're doing use Pythagorean theorem to find isosceles triangle side lengths. Long title, but I guess it makes it clear what we're doing. Find the value of x in the isosceles triangle shown below. Okay, a couple things. One, Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared, where A and B are the legs. Two, if we have an isosceles triangle, as demonstrated here, then we have five and five. Okay, that's important. The other important thing is if we draw this, line here, and I'm surprised it doesn't show, well, it shows that it's uh, equidistant or equiangular right there. So it makes it a 90 degree angle. If we have a 90 degree angle there and isosceles triangle, then that means that these two sides are split evenly, okay? So that means this and this are the same length to add up to the total of six. So very clearly this has got to be three, okay? So now we're just trying to find the other missing side, this side right here, this purple side, X. So we have a triangle here. If we were to draw it, uh, I'm gonna go use the same colors. If we were to draw it, this would be our C. This would be uh, an A, in this case it's X. And then this would be our missing value, which is, or not missing value, this is another value B. Okay, so let's just plug in what we know. We know the hypotenuse, okay, the longest side, that's our hypotenuse, is C squared. So we're gonna say five squared equals, and then we're gonna say B squared, which we know our B value, it's three. So that's three squared. Oops, let me move that over. Three squared. And then that's added to our missing value, which is not A, but it's X. All right, now we're gonna just go ahead and X squared plus nine equals 25. We're gonna subtract nine from both sides. We get X squared equals 16. Take the square root. Don't forget that last and crucial step. X equals four, final answer. All right, next question, we got six more. Uh, same process, but this time we're trying to find this whole bottom length. Now, there's one extra step involved when we're trying to do this bottom length, okay? Because notice how we have a right triangle here, okay? So we have eight squared plus, let's call this, we could call it X over two, okay? Or we could just call it B for now. I think most people are like, oh, I don't wanna deal with fractions. Okay, fine, we'll avoid the fraction, but just know that this is B. This distance here is B, and B is half the distance of X, okay? There's our right uh, triangle, because we only can use right triangles when we're doing Pythagorean theorem. So we have eight squared plus b squared, that's a two, equals square root of 80 squared. So we have 64 plus b squared equals 80. Square root of 80 squared is just 80. It undoes the square root. It's like uh, when you divide by two is the opposite of multiplying by two. If you square something, it's the opposite of taking the square root. We're gonna minus 64 from both sides and we get b squared equals 16. Guess what, we're gonna take the square root and we get b equals four. Now, don't just plug in four, I'm sure that's an option. Yep, that's a trap. Our answer is gonna be times two to equal x. So that's gonna be eight. So eight is our final answer here. All right, next question. Trying to find the hypotenuse this time, recognize here that this is gonna be two because the whole distance is four. So we have two squared plus three squared equals my friend x squared. Four plus nine equals x squared. We have 13 equals x squared. You guessed it, x equals square root of 13. Okay, similar, okay, we have uh, same four as the whole length. So we have two squared plus x squared equals eight squared. Four plus x squared equals 64. Subtract four, subtract four. x squared equals 60 x equals the square root of 60. And there's our final answer, D. Okay, uh, very similar problem, okay? Now this time we have, again, this problem where let's call that B and let's find B first. Actually, no, we did that, you could do that if you wanted to. So we do two, uh, sorry, two squared plus uh, B squared equals square root of 13 squared. Okay, so then we'd have four plus, I'm gonna show you the other way right after this, equals 13, b squared equals nine, b equals three. Then we double it to find x, it's six. Okay, the other way is just to do right from the beginning. This is a little tougher, but you can do it. We have two squared plus, we know this is half the distance of x, we'll call it x over two. x over two squared equals square root of 13 squared. What happens when we square these things? Four, this is the tricky part. We square the x and we square the two to get four. So we have x squared over four equals 
13. We subtract 4, subtract 4. We get x squared over 4 equals uh, 9. We multiply by 4 to both sides. We get x squared equals 36. Take the square root, and we get x equals 6. The same thing. Isn't that amazing? We got the same thing. I think it's pretty cool. But anyway, the, two different ways to do that problem. Wanted to show it because those, that's like the, the cool way to do it. This one is 3. Okay, I already know this is one of our 3, 4, 5 automatic triangle families. We have 9 plus 16 equals c squared. That's 25 equals c squared. c equals 5. Like I said, equals 5. Make sure you learn their 3, 4, 5 triangle families. Next question. This is the last one. Great. Ooh, this is actually an equilateral triangle. So you could even uh, know some of your properties of equilateral triangles, but we know that distance is 4. So we have 4 squared plus x squared equals 8 squared. 16 plus x squared equals 64. We're going to subtract 16 from both sides. We get x squared equals, that'd be 48. And we're going to take the square root of that. x equals square root of 48. That's all we got for today. Isosceles triangles completed. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out other ones if you need help. Leave a comment if you need something else covered. And I hope to see you next time on West Explains Best.